Okay, this is where we left off last time. We have the world set up with our home and three food stores and our environment cells are ready to disperse the chemical pheromones and we're waiting for the ants. So for this video, I want to start making our ant agent. <clears throat> it's going to be wandering around the world and doing things. So let's get going on that. <clears throat> we want to go back to our agents file. We have the environment, we have the home, we have the food. Okay, so down here, let's start making our class ant. Also based on <clears throat> agent. Cool, what do we need to make an ant? We are going to need a unique ID again. We're going to need a position, but the position, we're going to also need a little bit more about it. Let's say they start at home. These ants are going to want to remember their home. And then we're going to need the model. Okay, so call the super. It's time for you to call your init. And pass in the unique ID and the model. <clears throat> okay, that is all our preamble set up. We now have ants that are ready to go. And let's save some things. Save our position is equal to the home position to start. And let's remember our home as well. And we're going to say self.home equals home. Okay, this is enough to get us going. There's a lot more that I want to start adding, but we have a position and a way to remember where our home is. <clears throat> okay. The first thing we want to do is start defining our step function. So, step self. When someone says, it's your turn to move, Ant, what are you going to be doing? Let's start off just making them move randomly. <clears throat> and because I want to do this just nice and functional here, I am going to make another method called random move. So how does random move work? We need to go out to our neighbors, pick one of them at random, and then move ourselves in the grid. So let's see if we can get that to work. <clears throat> Where could I possibly go? These are my possible positions. They live in the model grid. This is the world. Go get the neighborhood. And the neighborhood based on my position. Is it a more neighborhood or not? And another parameter I can't remember right now, but there are lots of things I want to get. All of the cells, I want to get the more neighborhood of those cells. And that gives me back all the locations that I could go to. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do a self.random.choice based on the next moves. You give me back an iterated list of these potential moves. Let's make a random choice of those moves. And now I'll go talk to the model. It has the grid, it is the space where I live, and I'm going to move this agent of myself to the next move spot. <clears throat> okay, so our ants get a position, and then for their step, they are going to be randomly moving. <clears throat> cool, we have ants. This is enough for us to go test. Oh, right, when I save things, it does that. Well, I haven't really added them to the world yet. <clears throat> I need to put them in the model. So up here, environment, home, food, ant. And I need to be adding them in. I say, here's where I add my food. <clears throat> Let's make another loop here that adds in the ants. So. Let's just add a few of them to start off. So for I in range four, let's make four ants here. Ant, 
go get the next ID. self.grid. place the agent and in the self.home position on the world and then self.schedule add that ant. <clears throat> Great. So we have these ants. They are now in our world. We need a way to visualize them. And so we go back to the server and we say, hey server, <clears throat> what should I be doing if I find an ant? So let's go ahead and copy, let's go ahead and copy home for now. What if you are an ant? My shape should, well, let's make it a circle. And have it be filled, but let's make it a color here that we can easily distinguish. Let's go ahead and make it a black circle. <clears throat> okay, there is no amount on that ant, <clears throat> but we should be ready to go here. Cool. Let's start the simulation. Somehow, pheromone got added from our food stores. <clears throat> I am not sure how that happened. That shouldn't be happening. And I don't see these ants anywhere. They should be scheduled. They should be making their moves. I have them here if the agent is of ant type. Layer... Let's make them on a different layer here. Let's put them on layer one. I still don't see those ants. They should be wandering around. I made four of them. <clears throat> well, time to do some debugging. Hey, Ants, tell me what your move is. Tell me your position. Print. Next move. This is going to help me figure out. Oh, I never saved my model. I never saved my model. That's a problem. That's one thing. And it says, wait, ant is not defined in this space here. This is one problem. My server did not have the ant. Okay. If I start, something broke. If you see it does not do anything, there's probably something broken in the background. It says, wait, I don't have an amount. Who's calling amount? Aha! Okay. I figured out why we were starting to get a pheromone distributed from here. Well, we need to go back and look at our environment. <clears throat> okay. Ah, I'm learning so much. So, the environment went around and got all of the neighbors. And it said, I assumed before that all of these neighbors were environment neighbors and they were able to go get everything and those neighbors had an amount. Now, well, something found a neighbor that was an ant that doesn't have an amount. I need to go back and revise this. I need to go back and change my environment to not go get all the neighbors, but I need to get the neighbors that look like me. <clears throat> Let me see if I can figure out how to do that again. I thought this was the same. Bringing in these pieces. <clears throat> ah, 
Aha. Aha. Okay. So this gives me back all the neighbors because I changed it to a multi-grid. <clears throat> this is giving me back everybody. So let's just fix that up here a little bit to say, let's get n for n in there and then add a condition <clears throat> over here if the type of n is environment. <clears throat> okay, we're going to select from this list that came back only the ones that are environments. <clears throat> now, let's see what happens. Okay, we ran it. Let's do one step. Oh, I see some ants moving, and I don't see pheromone out there. This is better. Okay, so if I just start it up, and I can see these ants start wandering around the world. <clears throat> now they're a little too large. I would like them to be smaller. I can change their portrayal and put some other things together, but we have our ants finally moving. This is good, <clears throat> and we fixed up some things that I forgot to fix before about the environment. The environment should only care about, I'm looking in my neighbors, but these neighbors is a multi-grid. I can't assume that everybody's an environment. So that's better. <clears throat> let's go fix that portrayal just a little bit. Let's not make it so big. Let's give them a radius of one. <clears throat> now I have these ants wandering around the world just a bit in their spots. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so that was a good amount. Next video we'll pick up and try to make these ants have better behavior. We'll try to give them a nice agent program. <clears throat>